Part cost analysis is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet used by plastic product engineers and designers. It is used to estimate mold cost, press size, cycle time, and part cost for injection molded parts. I'd like to give a brief introductory tutorial on how to use the spreadsheet. We'll start by reviewing the cost summary page. On the cost summary page, you can see that estimating a project called a widget volume is projected to be 200,000 parts per year. And this injection mold that we're doing an estimate for includes one part each, a widget left hand and a widget right hand. It shows our total part weight for this injection mold, the material that's being used, and the cost per pound. It gives you the cavitation options of two cavities. That would be one each, a left hand and right hand widget, and then doubles each option to show a side-by-side -side comparison, which will allow us to see the return on investment at the bottom of the summary. Let's start with a two cavity option. The two cavity option is estimated to need a 100 ton press size, a cycle time of 35 seconds, a mold cost of $20,700, the material cost, the press cost, and finally the part cost is estimated to be 31 and 9 ten cents per set of one left hand and one right hand widget. We double the two cavity and go to a four cavity option. It gives us our press size, cycle time, and down to the part cost and shows at the bottom that we have a one year payback if we chose to go to a four cavity over a two cavity. This would justify a one year payback if that was the investment we were looking for to invest the additional money required for four cavities. Let's go to the part information tab at the bottom of the page and we will see how we came about estimations for this cost summary. The first part is a widget left hand. The annual quantity projected is 200,000 parts per year. We're using ABS and the material cost for that ABS is $1.40 per pound. Our specific gravity is 1.04. We can find this looking in the specific gravity chart. It says ABS is 1.04. We enter that information here. We estimate our part volume length times width times the wall thickness of the part gives us 1.8 cubic inches. Using that part volume and the specific gravity, we come about 30.5 grams for the part weight. We choose to use 25% of the excess sprue and runner to regrind back into our injection mold. The longest part dimension for this left hand widget is 1.5 inches. The nominal wall thickness for this widget is, one, is 0.14 inches. The projected area at the parting line is 2.9 square inches. Continuing to answer the questions, this part does not have a textured surface. We enter N for no. Tolerances required, are they less than 0.12 millimeters? The answer is no for this part. A part complexity from 1 to 3, for this part we chose a complexity of two. Finally, the estimated cycle time, if we look in our chart for ABS, for the information estimated, tells us it should be 32 seconds. We enter 32 seconds in this cell. Now we can move on to our second part, part information tab at the bottom of the page, part info two. We now will enter a widget right hand into this cell. The material is still ABS, the same cost, the same projected sales quantity because this is going to be an assembly. The specific gravity is of course the same but for this part it's um, different uh, part volume. 
the part volume length times width times wall gives us one cubic inch. We calculate 22.7 grams, 25% excess sprue and runner can be used. The longest part dimension for this right hand widget is 2.15 inches. The nominal wall thickness is different for this part, it's 0.16 inches. The projected area at the parting line, length times width, is 3 inches, 3 square inches at the parting line. We still do not have a textured part needed and the tolerances are less than plus or minus 0.12 millimeters so we answer yes. The part complexity again for this part is a 2. The estimated cycle time from our chart up above is 35 seconds for the second part, the widget right hand. We're only using two parts in this mold. Going to the mold calculation page, we choose to use a United States mold maker who charges $60 per hour for to build our mold. We go to answer our questions for the mold calculations. It wants to know is there a slide pull required? In this case, each part, left hand and right hand, each have one slide pull so we enter two. We have no unwind female threads. We have zero auto unwind female threads. We have zero male threads. We have six bosses and shoulders. We count them from the total of both parts and these features are entered at six for bosses and shoulders. The next we have four through holes for the total of the two parts and we have eight blind holes, counterbores, and chamfers. For ribs, teeth, and grooves we have a total of nine of these features for the both parts that are in the mold. We have no hand loaded inserts. We choose not to use a hot runner system in this mold and we choose not to use a three plate pin gate system in this mold so we enter no. Now we're ready to look at our cost summary. Again, after we have entered the part information and the mold calculations, the cost summary is automatically calculated and gives us our best return on investment option. In our case, we're looking for a one year payback. We choose a four cavity mold. Let's move to the help page. When we were answering the questions in the mold calculation page, it wanted to know if we wanted to use a three plate pin gate. It wanted to know if we wanted to use a hot runner gate. It wanted to know if we had slides. A slide is pulled in the direction of the opening and closing of the mold creating an undercut. Here's an example of a part with a hole in the side requires a slide action. Here's an example of shoulders and bosses. Here's a boss. Here's a rib. Here's a male thread. Here's a female thread. These are some terms that are used in the mold calculation. You can enter your own material part cost resin per pound here in each of these cells. If you want to know what the current resin pricing is, you can select this tab for Plastics News Resin Pricing it will take you to the internet and will show you an index of current commonly used plastic resins. Most people would use the category 2 because of the annual volumes required for their project. And it gives you the price per pound, a very handy tool in Plastics News. Simply select the back key, it takes you back to your uh, variables page. You can now enter molding press hourly rates anywhere from a 30 ton all the way up to a 2500 ton. Enter, enter these numbers here in each cell. The numbers you see in the default program are the national averages and you can change each of these as you wish. These are the variables used in the mold calculations and the part cost information calculations. Again, we go back to our summary, and this concludes our brief introductory tutorial.
you can download a free trial of part cost analysis and I think you will find that it works well for you and is a very valuable tool. Thank you for your time.